hey everyone welcome to my channel i am rajni khan and today's video we'll gonna see how we can run mysql in docker container okay so uh, if you want to do some poc based on mysql and uh, if you do not want to install mysql in your in your local system by downloading this mysql software if you have docker you can go for docker container docker container based mysql okay so let's see how we can achieve that one okay so for that one we required a uh, mysql image okay so mysql docker image we want okay in our local so how we want how we'll get that one if you see here this is uh, docker hub this official documentation and if you see here docker pull mysql okay so this docker pull command will pull this mysql image from this docker hub and if you are not mentioning any version then by default it will pull latest version okay so docker pull mysql if you will copy this one and we'll paste it here okay so all but already i have pull this docker images or uh, docker image so if you'll see here docker images if you'll see here mysql is there okay so already i have pulled this one so you can uh, the same way you can pull uh, this docker image docker pull mysql okay and if you want if you need some specific version you can specify uh specify that one uh, that version as well okay so let's see uh, now that uh, docker image is ready with us now let's see how we can run this docker image okay so for that one if you'll see here that command is there just see starting mysql instance okay so docker run this one we required this command so if you see here the same command i have modified little bit so what we are what we are doing here docker run and this is that image sorry container name we are providing whatever whenever this uh, mysql is will run so this container name mysql dv in which container this uh, mysql is running and here we are providing this uh, root user password here and here this port mapping we are doing hyphen p double three double three column three three zero six so three three zero six is the docker container port so in this docker container the mysql will run on three three zero six port okay and this double three double three we are we are uh, we are we are telling so from this port from my host i can access this mysql with this port okay so from our host with double three double three i can access uh, to this uh, docker to this mysql server okay and here i am providing this uh, image name so on which image we will run this container okay so the latest version we are using so let's run this one and we'll see so yes the container is running if you will see docker ps just see let me full screen container id image command create status port and name okay so this container now this mysql is running okay so if you want we can connect to this mysql and then see how i mean what are the database are present okay so for that one let let me show you how we can connect from the tool so i have mysql workbench and i will show you from how so from this mysql workbench we can connect uh, to this uh, mysql container sorry mysql database so mysql new connection you want 
and connection name is docker mysql and this localhost and root and what is this port just see i am not putting 3306 so 3306 port is running inside that docker container so from the host i want from my local machine i want to connect to that docker container so 333333 the same i have explained right here so from 3333 from my local system i can connect to that container okay so this port is mapping to 3306 so if i'll access 3333 from my local system it will redirect to 3306 inside this docker container so yes and let's test this connection what is this port sorry what is this uh, password root okay connection warning something is showing anyway successfully made the sql connection okay so now we are connecting to this dockerized now we are connecting uh, to this dockerized mysql so if you'll see docker mysql let's connect to this database okay so let's open so you can connect to any of these tools like uh, MySQL Workbench or SQL Developer or SQL Lite, whatever that uh, client you want, you can. Now, if you will see, we have SYS. One database is there. If you, I, if I, uh, if I want, uh, let's create a database. Okay. So let me create uh, let me create some sample database C R U D A P P. Okay. Apply. Apply. Very nice. Okay. Now if you'll see crowd up one database is there and if you want we can create a table. Let's create a table. So student table I am creating and let's have some column. So let me create here some ID, primary key and name. What else? Email. Okay, these three things we want. So let's apply. Okay, finish. Now let's go to this table. Let's have some. Uh, just say this is empty. Now let's add some data to here. Something happened. I want to add it, but that option I want, right? Leave that. So, uh, okay, now this table is there if you want. Uh, we can so if you do not have this mysql workbench also if you want uh, from this uh, from this console if you want to run the same docker ex so we are uh, we are going to inside this container so this command i will keep these commands in this description section of my video so that you can uh, keep it handy and you can use and then mysql hyphen u this one also will hit and will it will ask for password so root is the password now we have connected so use uh, which db we have created crud app crud app reading database change if you'll see Currently, we are connecting to this. Select uh, 
star from student. Select star from student. Empty set. If you see select star from student, empty set. As you do not have any uh, data as of now, so we are getting empty results. So let's uh, put some data into our insert into So we can insert some data into our uh, what we can say into our table. So let's write some query. Okay, so insert into insert into table name. What is this table name? We can place this one table name and values so suppose one two three and then name what is this name let me give my name and let me have my email this is not my email <laughs> okay uh, gmail.com and let's execute this one Yes, executed. Now let's hit this one again. Just see the data is present now, right? So now let's see from this console are you able to uh, get the data or not? Just see, select star from student, and we are getting the same data. Okay, 